So today I'm going to show you how to make a band brace. A band brace is a bracer. You see them all over the internet and on all sorts of cosplays. But today I'm going to show you how to do sifts. Now before I start on the band brace, because they're pretty simple, I'm going to talk about how to make the wraps that she has around her arms as well, because we're going to need band braids to go over the wraps. Um, you can probably do this without it, but I figured for the sake of teaching. I'm not a teacher. I don't know why I care. Alright, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, so you can find this tutorial on the internet, and I'll link it below in the description. But the first thing we want to do is cover our arm with clean wrap. And Sis goes up over her hand, so we want to cover our hand as well. So now what we're going to do is cover this clean wrap, not your skin, in tape. I recommend using painter's tape, but all I have enough of is duct tape, so do as I say, not as I do. And don't cover it too tight because you don't want your arm to lose circulation and you cut off. And you have to wear this when you're wearing the costume, so not this specific thing. So once you have the area covered that you want to eventually have covered with the wrap. Every time! And that's where your seam is going to be. So you're going to cut along there. Very careful not to cut yourself. Then you're going to flatten it and cut this piece out on your fabric. So once you have these, so once you have these cut out, you're going to figure out how big you want your little strips. You're going to cut out. 6 to 12 of them for each hand. I'm just going to start. I'm just going to start by cutting strips. Too long. I cut out six, so now I'm gonna cut them in half and I'll have both. Twelve. So when you're laying these out on your wrap, lay them ends are tucked under. And you're just going to lay them about and then you're going to sew right along the edge and then when you get to the edge of the actual wrap, you'll cut it off when you're done. So, cut this part off. 
All right, so once you have all of your wraps sewed onto the base, what you wanna do is match the bottom up and pin it and do the same here, but you're gonna leave this open. So there's going to be like this weird little flap here. And I'll show you what we do with that. But first, you're going to sew where you've pinned here. It's going to just be a lot easier to have this already sewn together when we start to mess with this. And actually, so this is too tight. So I'm just going to um, or about that seam and fold it over and sew it down. So here's an example of what that'll look like. So that's the thing and I just sewed it down so it's like that. And the next part we're going to go on to is the fingers. So it'll go like that. So you're gonna put three in and you're just going to put them on here and you're going to sew them um, like, oh my gosh. You're going to hand tack them in and then you're going to sew, before that you're going to sew them so that it's like that. To figure out where I want to position this, I'm going to just And then I'm going to cut this. and then I'll sew that down. I'll do the same on the other side so that it'll actually fit within my fingers. All right. So to attach, I'm just going to put it in that. And then flip it and just go right across. just have to kind of flip it out and then hand sew it in. So if they get a little close like that, it's still fine as long as you can comfortably get your fingers between them. So now I'm going to go on to show you how to make the actual armor part, the band brace. Alright, so when making the pattern for the fan brace, you want to make sure that it's going to go around your arm with the wraps on. So you want to make sure that that makes it big enough. So I'd make the pattern while you're wearing it, and I just took paper and wrapped it around my arm and then cut it until it looked like it was going to fit right. And I also made my pattern a little bigger than what I thought so that as I'm messing with the craft foam, I can adjust it and it will be the right size. So this is my craft foam piece, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make, I'm going to round it, I'm going to make a dot in the middle, because in the comic books her band brace has an X going through the middle of it, and it kind of creates diamond shapes, so I'm going to use a ballpoint pen to engrave those in like I did on my bodysuit's armor. And that just looks terrible. So, next we'll heat it up. So right now I'm waiting for it to cool down. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some elastic 
can put a small chunk in here so that when I put my arm through it'll stretch a little bit because I want the bottom to appear closed. I hard to see because it's black. But yeah, so I want the bottom to appear closed like this. Not like that, like this. I'm just gonna hot glue it to the inside. Once I put the, uh, I put like three different straps of plastic, one here, one here, and another right here. And once I did that, I covered it in gesso and then I painted it. You can age it, do whatever you want with it. Um, but mine are finished. I'm actually pretty happy with them. So there will be a written tutorial for the wraps down in the description. However, it does not cover going up onto your hands. It's just for your arms or your legs. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can message me below or at my Tumblr or my Facebook, which will be linked below. Materials are also linked below. If you liked this video, subscribe, give it a like. I'll see you next time. Tell me would you kill?